Hey everyone, this is Paul. Um, I'm making this video in response to a comment I got from the Fuzzy Llama 5, and they asked me if I could do a video on differentiation and explaining the difference between dy over dx versus d over dx. So, in response to making a video on differentiation, um, I think what I'm going to do with that is I'll start making a playlist on Calculus 1, and uh, so I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to start that for sure, but I'll try to start that playlist in the fairly near future. And uh, so yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I've been wanting to do that anyway. And now that I know that I've got at least one person interested, um, then I'll try to go ahead and give that a shot and uh, kind of teach through that playlist. And, and then in response to this second question, um, the difference between dy over dx and d over dx these are both derivatives and they both use Leibniz notation so in the beginning of a college calculus course you'll learn about something like this and it's basically this f prime here this little dash basically means that you're taking the derivative of a function f f of x and so this little dash means that you're taking the derivative of that and this is Newton's notation so if you were to describe this exact same thing in Leibniz notation, it would look like df over dx. So the important parts of this um, expression right here, uh, on top, the f is saying that what function you're taking the derivative of. So in this expression, you're saying that you're taking the derivative of the function f. And then this x variable down here means that you're taking it with respect to the variable x. So the big difference between these two is that this one explicitly says that it's taking the derivative of y with respect to x. Where this one just says it's taking the derivative of something with respect to x, but it doesn't tell you what it is. So basically, if we had y, if we had y is equal to x squared, plus x, then the derivative, we'll just call it y prime for now using Newton's notation, the derivative is equal to 2x plus 1, and so we could rewrite this in Leibniz notation by just simply writing dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 1. So we're basically just specifically saying what function we just took the derivative of. And you could also kind of write it in this form. You could use this notation as well. And so if you wanted to use the d over dx notation to describe what just happened here, then you could just simply write d over dx. And in this, in this case, instead of writing the y there, you would just put x squared plus x. And that equals 2x plus 1. So basically the big difference between these two notations is this one is saying what the function we're taking the derivative of. We're taking it of y and y equals x squared plus x. You could also write it this way and instead of writing the variable y here you just simply write what y is equal to and so d over dx of all this stuff is equal to 2x plus 1 and all this stuff is equal to y so these are basically there's your y right there and taking the derivative of the function y with respect to x gives you 2x plus 1. So hopefully that answered your question. Um, if not, you can leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. So yeah, so hopefully that helps and uh, you guys have a great day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.